Hello all, welcome back. Thanks for your comments, subs and likes. The weather's a bit unpredictable today. It's a bit hit and miss with the rain and stuff. So I've got some uh, red cabbages, seeds that I need to plant. But all I'm gonna do really is just uh, fill up one of these pots and plant them in there. You don't need to see that, I'll just get that done. Uh, then I'll, I'll give you a quick look around. A few things have changed a bit now and stuff is uh, starting to grow on pretty quick. Right, you might be able to hear me over the rain. But anyway, I've planted them cabbage. <laughs> I looked on the back and it says so by 2020. So, yeah, I'm not expecting anything to come up, but yeah, I didn't look till after I had planted the seeds, so I'll just leave them, see what happens. But they're in a water bath now, obviously. Right, these are my broad beans, barnyard exhibition. But these really need to go out, but yesterday was way too windy and today is as you can hear Yeah, I'm not getting wet, but this is the one that I found And replanted as you can see it has started to grow now, so that's good Have one more but that's going to be a little bit later than then. And uh, going from this broad bean to this one that I first planted out. And as you can see, it's got a lot, a lot of flowers on it. So I'm quite happy with that one. That's quite good. We've got a few more side shoots. We've got three nice side shoots from the bottom as well. It's got loads of flowers on. They're just starting to develop the rest of the flowers as you can see. So that's grown quite a lot in the last couple of weeks. <coughs> These are my all year round cauliflower. They started coming up now. If it focuses. There we go. They've started coming up now, so they'd be good. These are my broccoli or calabrese. I'm glad I never planted them out because, as you can see, they are quite tall. And if I did that yes by yesterday, then they would have been blown over and all sorts because it was well windy. The uh, beetroot, multi-sown beetroot out the back there. That's doing all right. And my uh, spring onions as well. The marigolds that I just left inside the tray from pricking out. Still got a couple of them kohlrabi. And the uh, turnip. Is uh, put on a nice little growth spurt. The marigolds, as I said, they've, as you can see, they put on a nice bit of growth spurt as well. The only one that got really affected was this one, but it's starting to grow back. But the rest of them are doing well. The swede. Best of all, that's not too bad neither. The uh, spring onions, white Lisbon that I pricked out and put in there separately. They're doing uh, quite well as well. And this is the one that shocked me the most. These are the uh, beetroot that I pricked out singly. So I can have big single beetroot. They've come on well. 
Look at the difference between them ones and them ones. So yeah, they need to be uh, planted out and them spring onions really. But I'm quite surprised in the difference between these singles and the multi sign. It's quite a big difference in my book. I forgot to show you the uh, pinks or carnations, if you want to say that, call them that. I should have done this earlier. I should have moved all these pots, but as you can see, they're doing quite well. A couple of them have got some uh, flower shoots on them now. That one's got a flower shoot as well coming by the looks of it. So they're doing all right. A couple of them are still a little bit, well, they're all quite small really at the moment, but they're doing all right now that I've uh, pricked them out. And this is the uh, kohlrabi that I uh, pricked out and planted in here instead of putting outside because my carrots got eaten. So, yeah, as you can see, there is slug damage in here. But I had a look when I come in earlier and I couldn't see any slugs around this or underneath it or anything. But there is uh, slug damage. So I might have to come back out a little bit later on and have a look when the uh, when it's just starting to get dusk. Right, I've just had stepped outside, and as you can see, it is quite sunny. But one minute it's sunny, then it's uh, pouring down with rain. But if you look over there. There is actually the sun out. So, right, I'll give you a little look at my uh, onions now while it's not raining. Right, we start at this end. Right, these are the uh, radar. They are quite nice up this end, actually. As you can see, they are getting some nice, nice stems on them now. There's my hand to compare the size. So they are just, looks like they're just starting to uh, bulb up. And I can't see any that have uh, bolted yet. So they're doing quite well. Where's that tag? Right, from here to the rest, these are Senshu, I think. They're doing quite well. There's a few nice thick stems and stuff again on them ones. Well, obviously I haven't dug about or anything, but there is some nice looking ones. They're just starting to bulb up. And we've got a little space. I want to put some of my uh, carrots in here because I've done carrots here last year so I might do that in a minute if the rain holds off for long enough and I'm not sure what these are I'm not sure if these are snowball or not these front ones here either snowball or senshu one or the other but these are my parsnips from last year as I said before, I'm just leaving them in there and hopefully they'll flower this year. Then I'll have my uh, own seeds, but they are definitely uh, shooting away. They're quite nice size now, to be honest. I might take this small one up, actually. There's one small one here. And I've got one nice one there and another nice one there. So, well, there's a couple over there actually, but yeah, they are quite nice now by the looks of them, as you can see the size. 
So hopefully we get some flowers on them. And I think this is some onions next to some garlic. And I saw a video of people saying that you're not supposed to put onion and garlic together. So I don't know whether that's true. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Onion and garlic together okay or not? Let me know. But I have noticed that there's a lot of uh, bindweed coming up this end. As you can see, so I'm going to have to pick that out when I can. But this is my saved garlic, pink germidor. I think there's a couple of rows of them. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten. There's twelve garlic there. And the rest are onions. I'm not sure if they're snowball or not. But, yeah bind breed I need to fix this post as well because that has uh, rotted away look you as you can see well not completely but it keeps on flopping over like that and I can't open my gate so I'll just bang a post in the side there and uh, screw that to the post that I'm knocking. I've got quite a big post already and everything to do it. So yeah, I'll just get on and do that now, I think, while it's not raining. As normal for me, my screwdriver battery died. So I've just got that on charge. So I'll put a couple of screws in there just to pull that post back a little bit and hold it a little bit. I'll show you my uh, strawberries. I'm quite surprised actually, because I never had the flowers like this last year, I can tell you. But these are the uh, pine berries. They've got quite a lot of uh, nice little flowers on them and this is one this is a uh, one from my neighbor it's got a nice flower on it and uh, my ones there's one big nice bunch over there actually it's got quite a lot on it have to be careful balance and act that's got quite a lot of flowers on it, as you can see. Looks like there's a few more coming on this one as well, actually. So, they're doing all right. So hopefully we should get some nicer big strawberries this year. Right, I've climbed my way out of there. These are my potatoes for this year, just in case you haven't seen the video. I have got the main crop in these four big bags. They are Maris Piper. Then I've got three bags of Maris Pier. And these are my salads, Charlotte, is it salad? Yeah, salad, Charlotte. I've got four little bags of them, but they are quite deep as well, so they should be good. Can't believe it, it was raining, pouring down a little while ago. As you can see, the cabbages are doing all right. A little bit of a, well, no, I can't really see any, well, there's a little bit of slug damage, but not too bad, really. The uh, broccoli seems to be doing, oh, no, not broccoli, Brussels sprouts, they seem to be doing all right. 
they've picked up a little bit. And uh, this is my apple espalier, golden delicious. Is it golden delicious? I think some one of them, one of the uh, popular ones anyway. But as you can see, I've got um, tons of flowers on here. So hopefully we don't get a frost and I can get another nice apple harvest off of these. That'd be good. The comfrey. Yeah. As I said before, nice purple flowers and stuff. I don't, I can't remember whether I showed you before or not. I'll give you a quick look at my uh, two pairs. One of them, well, yeah, it did have loads of uh, blossom on it. But you can see that they've started to lose their flowers now. And they are, looks like they're starting to develop pears now. So that'd be quite good. The leaves are just starting to come out as well. So this one, there isn't so many um, flowers on this other pair, but yeah, it's growing. There's only one lot of pears right at the top there. So, oh, there's one little bunch there as well as you can see but that's about it for the pears i was going to cut my grass today but or yesterday but it was raining all day yesterday so i never got it done this is the other side of the uh, apple espalier as you can see loads of uh, nice apple blossom on there so hopefully we get a nice big crop again this year and don't get a late frost. If it does, if I do see a prediction of frost, I'll get a fleece or something and uh, chuck it over the top of that bar and just clip it down and try and keep the uh, blossoms inside the scaffold netting or something like that. I've got these big slabs. They're uh, three foot long by two foot wide and then a big old uh, concrete old school one. So they're proper heavy. So what I'm gonna do, I've got to uh, move it, which is gonna be delightful. Move it all the way up here because I wanna finish off this bit of wall here. So what I need to do is get it up here, dig a little trench out, and then just place it in there. But I'll show you that anyway, but it doesn't quite go to where it needs to, to finish off. It's a bit awkward to show you, but to finish off this uh, brassica bed. So anyway, right, I'll get, I'll get that slab up here and then I'll start digging out this trench. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well, I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah, I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to gains, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you could never own I feel this pain, you already know 
dug my uh, trench out a little bit and uh, we have a bit of a problem it's nowhere near deep enough for a start but I can soon dig that out but which is not shouldn't be surprising really but see that that's a nice chunky root obviously off of this silver birch so what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have to try and uh, knock the corner off of this big slab so that it can fit in there because it's, uh, yeah, it's right in the way basically. But I've got the idea off of this slab because I saw this slab but this isn't wide enough. And that only needs to be just over three foot. So I'm not putting four foot in there because I put it past the polytunnel. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to have to knock the corner of that one off and see how we go with that. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'll give it a go. I've got roughly a measurement where I need to cut the corner off. slab off now so that's going to be it for today so thanks for watching liking and commenting and don't be shy hit the subscribe and then you'll see how I get on with this slab right catch you later bye